closed, pizza boy. Find another way home. Goddamn street racer. Good morning YouTube, Chris Honda here with my friend Jim. We're gonna be showing his 71 Camaro, beautiful mint 71. We're just gonna focus on that real quick. So Jim, tell us about your beautiful car. Tell us about how hard it was to restore this beautiful thing. And you did say it was four years to restore, which is not bad in some restorations, you know? So let us know what's going on. All right, so uh, I've had the car for about six years now. Um, took me about four years to do the restoration frame off. I did it in my garage. I did everything but the uh, seat covers and the, uh, uh, and the door panels. Um, yeah, very, after about 2,500 hours, I kind of stopped counting, you know? <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, sometimes, uh, I think the roughest thing, the most the most stressful thing was uh, not not just the paint, but uh, buffing it out. You know, just trying not to burn through the paint or anything like so that. So this is original paint? No, it's not original. No, it was stripped down. It was it was down to bare metal. Uh, did all the body work and everything. You know, just kind of learned as I go. Uh, wow. A lot of trial and error. Um, but yeah, I'm very very proud of it. Though. So the cut and buff after the paint was pretty rough. Yeah, you know, just you know, just so you know, it has it has uh, four coats of clear on it, and um, you know, and I just didn't want to burn through it because then you got to paint the whole panel over again. And oh my god! Rough and stuff, but uh, yeah, you know, I uh, started out with my younger sons. Um, they were helping me with it. You know, uh, I got pictures. I mean, I got thousands of pictures of this whole restoration and everything. And, uh, yeah, very, very proud of it. Um, you know, I just learned uh, how much I really, really enjoy doing it. It's not for everybody. It, this is uh, it's a lot of, lot of, lot of uh, painstaking work. You know, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, and everything. But classic uh, muscle is a pretty, pretty big uh, project to take on, man. Yeah. Any car project. Yeah. But I mean, we're gonna focus on the car real quick. Okay. We're gonna pan over here. Okay. But before we do, uh, Chris Honda is getting videoed right now. By my good friend Benny over there. Benny, how you doing? Benny's from No Gap TV. We're gonna put his link on my channel and we're gonna do a, a collaboration video today. It's gonna be great, man. Benny, thank you for coming out. Uh, and then we're gonna do this video. So we're gonna walk around the 71 uh, Camaro here. Um, let's uh, talk about your wheel setup, man. What, what kind of wheels are these? Yeah, so look, that's a um, center line. It's a Champ 500. Um, they, it's a Champ 505. Now, they actually don't make the rim anymore. Um, when I did buy them, they were uh, this, the rear room was only 8 inches wide. I actually had it widened to 10 inches so I can put that side tire on it. Wow, so it was rebarreled? Yeah, I had, yeah, I had to have it widened 2 inches and stuff, but uh, um, yeah. The company I sent it out to place in, I think it was Oklahoma. Um, Weld Wheels was it? Oh, Weld Wheels, yeah. Yeah, yeah they did a great job. Very, very happy. Excellent yeah. job, man. I mean, let's go focus on the on the width right there. A rebarreled two-inch wheel in the back. Uh, what is this? Like an eight and ten in the yeah, back? That's exactly what it is. Wow, eight and ten, man. Beautiful setup. And as you can see, we're gonna go and focus on the interior. This is the only thing that Jim did in the the car that wasn't his was the interior. And look at that hound's tooth, man. It's really beautiful. Great shot in here. Look at that. Everything is absolutely mint. That dashboard is crazy, man. Yeah, yeah. And then we're going to focus on the motor. Is this a crate motor? Yeah, it's a crate 383 stroker. Oh, yeah. favorite, man. Yeah. 383. Yep. So, uh, yeah, it's really good. Got a Holly. Uh, it's got a 650 on it. Um, 650? Yeah, I just put a serpentine belt system on it. It's got air conditioning in it. Uh, AC, definitely got to have that in the uh, in the uh, desert here. Um, and we're, we're still fo filming over here. We have Benny over here. We're just going to focus on these bumpers. Look beautiful, man. Yep. Um, you told me that you try to tuck it in as much as you can. It looks like a it looks like a cheap boost build, man. <laughs> like like straight up. You know how they always flush the, the yeah, bumpers? Yeah. Very nice, man. Yeah. And I that... tried to, yeah, I tried to keep it kind of uh, uh, stock looking. Uh, you know, I didn't want to, I didn't want to shave the, the bolts or anything on it. I, I like the old school, you know, look. look so yeah. I tried to keep it as much to the old school look as possible. So. 
This is a very beautiful job, man. I mean, that chin spoiler. Yeah. It is, is, and you, it, are these factory chin spoilers? Yeah, this or? is a factory. This, is, uh, this was available. It was an option at the time, you know, when, when uh, Chevrolet put them out. Um, so, yeah, it uh, looks good. I love it. I love the, the rear spoiler as well. Yeah, um, I beautiful. think the, uh, the pinstripe you touch on, it kind of blends in. A lot of these, a lot of guys paint them or anything, and they just kind of keep them black, and they just don't look finished, but I like the white pinstripe. That is a edge. very nice detail. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that pinstriping, did you do the pinstriping yourself? Yeah, I did everything myself. And, Holy uh, cow. And clear coated over it so you could barely even feel it or anything else. Man, Jim, you are a master of all trades, man. <laughs> I mean, look, look at this detail right here. Just that side marker right there. It's in there. It looks so flush. Yep. I mean, look at that side profile. One of my uh, most favorite uh, Camaros. And this is still considered an F body, right? Yeah, that's correct. Yep, yep. This was uh, this is GM's most popular body. This they had they kept this for years and years. Um, another thing, I, you know, that I spent a lot of time on because I'm really big on all the all the gapping on the doors and the hood and everything like that. A lot of cutting and welding and everything to get it to look. Um, the and way just uh, to get it in. I mean, we're gonna focus on these gaps. Look at the first gap right here between the bottom and the top right there. Look at these gaps right there. Doors. That door gap. It's probably one of the hardest to get the very, fender very in the hard. door. Yeah, yeah. Right here. Interior again. Is this a four speed? Five speed. Five speed. Yeah. Very, uh, Tremec? Yeah, Tremec oh. five speed. That's correct. Tremec five speed. I mean, it's got all the goodies. Yes, it does. Crate motor, yep. Tremec five speed, so you can cruise all day long, no yeah. problem. No problem, yep. And yep. What, what horsepower numbers are we on this car? The, the, the crate engine's rated at between 430 and 450 horse, so it's probably right, Very right there. Very nice. Right there, yeah. And we, we have Posi on, on the back? Of course, yes, of course. Are we IR in the back or? No, 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 it's a, it's a, it's a straight axle, so a rear end. Yeah. Four link, we got the four link set no up four in there? Link. No, no four link, no, wow. I just wanted to keep it as stock as possible. As possible. You know, so. Now, did you powder coat all the underpinnings and everything? Uh, everything, yeah. It's all it's all powder coated. Frames all powder coated and everything. Insane, yeah. man. Yeah. What a great build, man. Yeah. And and local to Las Vegas, I'm just trying to show Jim's car out here and, and show the world what we do out here in Las Vegas. What kind of builds we have. And as you can see, this is one of my favorite Camaros here. Very nice build. I mean, this this is a hundred thousand dollar car, no yeah. problem. Yep. Easy. Yep. Yep. Jim, thank you for, for letting us uh, feature your car on my channel and uh, No Gap TV uh, bringing you live the uh, Mint 71. Uh, would you be able to treat us on a startup and uh, maybe a rev? Yeah, sure. Tiny? It's, motor's cold, but yeah. It probably, uh, yeah, man, whatever. We just want to hear okay. the sound. We're going to put the, the microphone right underneath the exhaust so we can hear this. So uh, turn up your volume, put your headphones on, and we're going to hear it. Look at that rear end, bro. That's beautiful, man. man very nice so thank you so much that was such a treat man this You're thing welcome. sounds beautiful what exhaust are you running on here this is a uh, pipes it's called it's a pipe system so it's, it's a, a transverse pipe. muffler it's running it runs all the way to the back just up under the axle so. very nice it sounds really good it doesn't sound too rowdy exactly. just enough yeah that's what i was going for so just enough to know you you know <laughs> what's under the hood man. get your attention right? that's absolutely attention, yeah. very cool so i got a couple of pictures uh, I'm going to throw this on, on top of the clip. Okay. And again, Jim, thank you so much for letting us uh, uh, film your car. And Benny, thank you for uh, taking care of us at uh, No Gap TV. Bringing it to you live, man. Chris Honda, Celebrity Cars and Coffee. Remember, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for Chris Honda and No Gap TV, baby.